If there's one thing we humans all share, it's a fear of ghosts. Where are they? What do they want? Are they watching us in the bathroom? But another thing we all share is the environment. We are all deeply affected by climate change in countless ways. No matter who you are or what you believe in, you are breathing the same air as everyone else on Earth. Unless, of course, you are a ghost, in which case, stop watching me. It's time for you to be at peace. Preserving the environment and mitigating climate change is vitally important to every single living thing on Earth, which is why I am so proud to present the Science, Technology, and Environment Medal to Cindy Newberg for her work doing just that. This is important uh, work that we're doing. It's important to, to our generation and generations to come, and so we have to get it right. Um, we have to make sure that what we're doing sets us up to smoothly transition out of chemicals that are damaging to a fragile climate system. And anything we can do to help improve that is uh, a positive impact on the environment. Cindy has been working for the Environmental Protection Agency for almost 30 years, but she has devoted the last 10 years to one specific fight, taking down one of the biggest threats to our environment, hydrofluorocarbons, or HFCs. There have been many different chemicals that have been used for cooling and providing these types of technologies. The first class of chemicals that we think of are HFCs. They were identified as transitional chemicals because they don't deplete the ozone layer, but they still have a significant impact on climate. It's important that we phase these down because a global phase down is estimated to reduce climate change by about half a degree. Cindy attacked HFCs from every angle working with governments, industry, and environmental groups. She convinced countries around the world to reach an international agreement to phase down the use of HFCs, the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol. And she advised Congress on legislation to hold up our end of that agreement. She didn't pull any punches. We might all be scared of ghosts, but HFCs are scared of Cindy Newberg. Cindy's work will lead us all to a healthier, brighter future, and we're so grateful for her exemplary leadership. As we work to fulfill EPA's mission to protect public health and the environment, people like Cindy demonstrate exactly what public service is all about. Hard work, perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to improving people's lives. I would just add that Cindy's work and that of her colleagues at EPA makes a big difference in everyone's life. You know, you will never notice the difference in the products that have the alternative chemicals in them. They will cool just as well as they did before but without the damage to our climate. And that is a huge achievement. The chemicals that we are transitioning out of, it's really great that you don't know that we've already transitioned out of a whole bunch of them. Since I started at EPA, the chemical cooling, the car you drive has changed twice and you probably didn't notice. Fire extinguishers have changed, the foams that are used to uh, blow the cushioning in the seat you're sitting in or in the refrigerator. Uh, door have all changed to better, uh, more sustainable substances, and nobody noticed. So part of my job is to do things without anybody knowing that we did it. Thank you, Cindy, for all of your amazing work, and congratulations on this well-deserved award. Public service is an opportunity to give back to society and to you know, work in a job you, you appreciate on issues you are concerned about and care about and make a difference. Watching these chemicals get phased down and seeing the ozone layer start to heal and have an opportunity now to address climate change using those same tools, you just don't get those opportunities anywhere else.